Hey guys, it's Andrea here from Crafter Support. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to share with you everything I got in my Maker 3 bundle that's called the Everything Bundle. And I'm just going to show you individual pieces as I open them up. So these are the scissors with a protective cover. These are nice like paper snips. Then this is an embossing tool. So this is something you can use in your Cricut um, Explore 2 and up. This is the spatula. You use this to get things off of your mat. And we're going to be doing videos and I'm going to be sharing with you guys all the uses for each of the tools. And then this is a weeding tool. This one has a very sharp pointy base that's straight. And then this one has a bit of like a little hook at the end, which I prefer the ones with the hook at the end. It makes it to me a little bit easier to pry things up. And a pair of like reverse tweezers. So for these, you just have to push in to open them up. And then once you let go, it holds on to your... Um, whatever you're making. So if you're using paper, it just makes it easier. You don't have to keep them squeezed the whole time. And then a scraper. So this is my favorite color, the lilac. And these scrapers come in handy for cleaning your mats or picking little pieces up, things like that. So I do have multiples of these and I like having them handy. So the next thing we have is the portable trimmer. So the portable trimmer cuts paper down to size for you. If you, let's say you didn't have a Cricut, you could use the portable trimmer to trim a lot of things up and make a lot of different things. So this one is the extended one. They originally had this other small one whenever they were just doing, before they started doing Smart Vinyl. But because the Smart Vinyl has to be wider, the 13 inches, they needed to extend the portable trimmer. So that's why they're two different sizes. So they're the exact same design. Everything's the same on them other than how they open up, um, how much cutting space they have. And when they open up, it goes out to 16 inches. So I think it's kind of nice to have both if you're just using 12 by 12 paper. I do prefer to use Cricut brand cutters whenever I'm using Cricut paper or Cricut vinyl. So with the Cricut portable trimmer, you're able to change out your blade into a scoring tool. And that also comes with this set. And here's your blade. So your blade is like a light gray color. And there's one already in it whenever you receive it. And then it has a backup blade and your scoring um, I forget what they call it. Let me think. A scoring edge is what they call it. So that was just a little piece you peel off. It's just to protect your um, blade whenever they package it. And the only thing you have to do to put in the scoring edge is pop the top of your tool down. So that's your scoring edge. It's like a lot darker. It's almost like a, like a smoky brown. I'm sorry, smoky gray. You just pop the top off of the tool and it comes right off and then you lift your blade out and then so you don't lose it underneath the portable trimmer is a place to slide your blade into so there's like a little groove there and you just stick the blade into the little groove and it'll and you just push it back and it snaps into place which is really nice and handy to have um, so you can make those switches quickly and easily and not lose your blade so then all you're going to do is put your scoring edge down in the little gully where it cuts, and then you just snap your topper piece back on. And I'm going to show you what the scoring edge does. It just puts like an indent into your paper. So if you're making like a 3D box or something like that, it has the scoring edge for you, so it makes it easier to fold, and it just helps manipulate the paper so it doesn't rip or tear when you're folding it, which is super nice. Okay, so we're going to change it back out and I'm going to show you the cutting blade and that's it's that simple. You just pop the top off, slide your scoring blade into the groove and snap it into place and you just pop your regular blade out. And again, you're just going to put your blade into the little groove that you see and you're going to snap your top piece back on. So it has to line up and you'll, you'll feel it snap into place. So now I'm going to show you how easily it cuts and nicely it cuts. And this is 12 by 12 um, Cricut paper. But it's just like butter. It just slides right through and does a really nice cut. And then there's your fold from your scoring edge. 
Okay, so the next thing is there's an arm on this that extends out and it extends out to 16 inches. So you can cut a fairly large pieces of paper with this. Uh, all you do is you place your paper in and put it along the guide rails and you just go to the size you want. I'm doing eight inches here and then you just slice up or down. Some people prefer to pull down instead of go up. I kind of do both and it cuts it nicely for you. So you just slide the arm right back in and it snaps into place. So that's a really cool tool to have. It does a lot of different things for you. And if you don't have a Cricut yet, this is something that you could use to still make some really great projects. All right, so here's the extra blade that it comes with. So I'm gonna leave the blade that's in the machine now, and I'm gonna flip it over and put my extra blade into the bottom and snap it into place. It has nice padded like little legs on there, little feet that hold it into place as you're cutting so it's not moving around. Um, it's a really nice one. So this is the basic tool set, which pretty much you get a lot of the things that I've already previously opened. So I'm going to be doing a giveaway at the end of the video for this. So make sure you stick around to um, see what you have to do to get that. And the scissors are really great. I just want to let you guys know. I have two of these, the smaller paper snips, and I love them. And I also have the big fabric scissors that I use. So like I said, they're pretty much the same as the other tools that we already pulled out, but you can never have too many tools. So even if you already have these, definitely enter the giveaway. Okay, so the next thing we have is the pen set. So this is the um, multiple, yeah, multi-pen set black, and it gives you the glitter pen, the fine tip, uh, the bold, it gives you like all five of them. And you can see at the top here how they look whenever they draw. And I really like using the Cricut pens. I actually have a set of Cricut pens I just write with, like in journaling and things like that, just because I like how they flow and they don't seem to run out of ink so quickly and they're very smooth to write with. All right, so then I also got Smart Iron On with this. And this one is called Holographic Blue. It's 13 inches by three feet and it's so beautiful. Like it almost matches my nails. It's really pretty color. And then the next color is a glitter silver. And this is smart vinyl. So this is all vinyl that you do not need a mat, all of this. Um, you don't need a mat for this if you have the Cricut Explore 3 or the Maker 3. And this, like I said, is the silver. And you could, there's like little pieces on the side so you can uh, see when you're in the store which one what it's going to look like so then this is the gold and it's super pretty next we're getting into the permanent vinyl and this is the matte silver and it looks really pretty I can't wait to make things with that this is the matte white again permanent and it also is 13 by 3 feet and then the next color we have is the matte black. And guys, I'm really excited to use the no, like the no matte vinyl. And this is the matte red. Because I want to see how well it cuts like consistently, like bigger projects. So I'll be definitely sharing that with you guys. Okay, so this is the matte metallic champagne. It's so beautiful and it is permanent vinyl. And then the next thing I absolutely love is I got the 12 by 21 foot transfer tape. I love Cricut transfer tape. I'm going to show you how to use it. I know some people have a love-hate relationship with it, but I love this transfer tape and we're going to work together with it. Okay, so next is the removable vinyl and this is the matte red vinyl. The next color we have is the matte maize yellow, which is a beautiful color. I have the Cricut Cutie, I believe, in that color. And then we have the matte black, which to me is a very nice for like a guy's project if you're making something for a guy. Just my opinion. <laughs> and this is matte ocean, which is really, really pretty. I really like that. And then we have the matte grass, which is a really beautiful green. And it, it's, it's so pretty. And then we have the matte white. 
So I'm kind of, my table's kind of getting full here, um, the matte white. So that's really pretty as well. And the next thing we have is the Smart Paper Sticker cardstock. And these are in really beautiful, bold colors. Um, I've never used it. I've never used this kind of cardstock before. I'm excited to use it. And it's like a sticker, so that's why it's called the Sticker Cardstock. And I'm going to be sharing it with you guys for the first time when I make a project with it. And it's just so pretty. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, just seeing um, what you get in that bundle. Your colors may differ than mine, but I definitely wanted to share it with you because I had some questions on what all comes with it. And I wanted you to be able to get it on the deals. I'll have links below for absolutely everything that you've seen. And I am an affiliate with Cricut, so I may make some money off of anything you order, but it doesn't cost you anything extra to order. So this is for the giveaway. All you need to do is comment down below and um, make sure you're a subscriber of the channel. And I will be doing a random drawing to pick and see who wins. And the information will be in the description box below so you can get um, all the information. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you're all having a great new year. And come back on Thursday to see the next maker video that I have. So I'm going to be making some fun crafts. So thanks for watching, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.